Now here's a, a little beauty with a feline reference. This is one of the UK's three kitten moths. There's older kitten, sallow kitten, and there's this one, which is poplar kitten. Now this is not a common moth in Nottinghamshire. It's not commonly recorded by any means, and in fact it's a species I think I've only trapped to light two or three times, if that. But last year it seemed to do quite well. Well, at least I seemed to do quite well in finding it. And I recorded this species as a larva on two occasions. May have been three. My memory plays tricks, you know, at my age. So, in order to confirm the identification, although I was pretty sure anyway, with the larva being found on poplar, the larva were taken home and reared. Here is the result of that rearing. Pupation took place in the typical hard cocoon of the kitten moths. Also included in that is the much larger and much more impressive puss moth. But this species is an absolute beauty. This emerged sometime last night or in the early hours of this morning. And it's quite attractively marked. These are lovely moths. Now two of our kitten moths, poplar and sallow kitten, are extremely similar. And in fact, they can be quite tricky to separate. The main difference between the two, and I will insert a photo here of sallow kitten, and you'll see on sallow kitten, it's the difference is in the black outline grey bar that runs down the wing as you look at it now from top to bottom or depending how you look at the wing across it and it's the rear line of that bar the one nearest the wing tip on poplicin that edge of that bar is more curved and less sort of scalloped than on sallow kitten as you're looking at now and now that you can see this one this is poplar kitten for comparison now you can see the difference between the two species it's subtle but it's noticeable there's certainly no need to chop up these little jobs to have a look at the bits and bobs to confirm the identification and these are probably more widely recorded as a larva than as the adult moth in my own experience puss moths not commonly caught or attracted to mv light i think despite puss moth being widespread still it's rarely recorded at light and even rarely makes the county recorders macro moth reports so this is a beautiful moth a basic light gray to white background color row of dark or black dots down the rear edge of the wings there some finer gray scalloped marks or lines across the wings and then the darker bar edged in black with hints of yellow marvelous how the yellow is added and that makes them off altogether colorful some more dots right at the base of the wings and a hint of yellow on the thorax all together poplar kitten along with sallow kitten and older kitten are all three beautiful moths.